Welcome to the Defense and Aerospace Report. I'm Vagam Radian here at the Paris Air Show at this historic airfield, Le Bourget, outside the French capital. Our coverage here is sponsored by Bell and Leonardo DRS, and we're here on the U.S. Uh, Department of Defense stand to talk to Lieutenant General Steve Basham, uh, who is the Deputy Commander of the U.S. Uh, Air Forces in Europe. Sir, thanks very much, and how cool is this? We're in Paris. Margo, this is absolutely amazing. As a matter of fact, my first Paris Air Show. Let me actually say thanks to our French host. This is actually a phenomenal environment, a collaborative environment to be able to bring so many nations together. For us, allies, partners, those that are actually uh, underneath the European command, we actually appreciate this opportunity. Love it. Uh, it's fantastic. So talk to us a little bit about your priorities. Very big delegation here, obviously, one of the largest American delegations in a while. What are some of the priorities you have uh, coming here from uh, USAFE? Well, certainly on behalf of my boss, General Hurry, again, the commander of USAFE Air Force F Africa. Actually, our priorities are really to focus on how do we continue to improve integration and collaboration across many different nations, certainly allies and partners. It all is a focus on readiness, how do we posture the, the, uh, the, the European theater in this particular case, and then also how do we actually take that next step in working with partners and allies. I can't think of a better environment, the, the ability to be able to come together, meet with so many of our, our allies and partners across the globe, quite honestly, to help promote regional security and global security. Um, let's talk a little bit about F-35 integration. We just got out of an uh, interview with uh, Chief of the French Air Force, Philippe Levine. He was talking about interconnect, better interconnecting his force, paving the way for SCAF, which is the next generation French, German, uh, Spanish airplane with the F-35 that has now become sort of a foundational NATO fighter uh, given its popularity. Talk to us about how we're going to bring these fourth generation, sometimes even third generation, with fifth generation and then pave the way to sixth. Well, I think the first thing we would always say is, is uh, whether it's fifth generation with fifth generation, fifth to fourth generation, or new aircraft that are coming online, we'd all, we should always start with interoperability. Anytime we're going to develop something new, let's make sure that it can operate with those very assets that are existing right now. The other day, we had the great opportunity to work with our Italian partners in their F-35s. That F-35 to F-35, of course, inherently interoperable because of the same aircraft, but even more so because you get the synergistic effect. It's actually a force multiplier when you bring those two countries that have the same aircraft. But we're excited about the, the competition that's going on out there. We're excited about being able to work with other nations to bring all capabilities together. Uh, talk to us about going up uh, the high intensity combat uh, readiness tree. Uh, your work in readiness, your working exercises, bring us up to speed on uh, all the stuff uh, USAFE is doing with uh, its partners to try to get to that sharp edge. Well, the key for us is also readiness. We appreciate uh, the, uh, the amount of funds that the administration uh, over the last few years has put into readiness. It has been laser focused for not only United States Air Force, certainly uh, United States uh, Air Forces Europe and Air Forces Africa. But you know, you have to turn around and you have to take that those funds, you have to put it into people because readiness always starts with people first. And then you gotta turn around and you gotta put it into parts, but then you actually have to put it into action. And that means action in theater. We appreciate that we've had a great opportunity to bring many uh, of our, our uh, Air Force assets over into the European theater, African theater, to be able to operate in the very location that they're actually going to be working with partners to assure uh, uh, regional stability, regional security. And there's no way to do it other than being on the ground right then. So what we've been able to do and in certainly increasing our partnerships is actually come over here multiple exercises. The other day we actually had an integrated air and missile defense exercise working with our Italian, Slovenia, Croatia partners. Absolutely fantastic. W working across northern uh, uh, part of Europe, Arctic Challenge. Being able to bring our guard assets, this is really a total force uh, uh, piece. And, and the key is when we actually come in to work with our allies and our partners, we actually learn from them. Hopefully they learn from us as well. And then should we have to come back another day under a, 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 a more difficult environment, we already have that capability to operate together. It starts right now. Lieutenant General uh, Steve Basham, the Deputy Commander of the United States Air Forces Europe uh, and Africa. Sir, thanks very much. It's a pleasure and look forward to coming and visiting with you guys and give my best to uh, Cobra Harigian. Uh, Vago, I appreciate the opportunity. Thank you so much. Have a great show. Thank you.